Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to enable the biggest features and changes coming with the July 2025 update for Windows 11 version 24H2. You can check the link in the description to get a closer look at these new improvements coming to the operating system. Okay, first to get all the changes, first you have to make sure that you have the required packages installed on your computer. And to do this, open start and look for settings. Then we're going to go to Windows Update and then make sure to turn on this feature and then make sure to turn on this option. And then just click the check for updates button. This will make sure that you have the latest update installed on your computer. And then to confirm that you have the update installed on your computer, just go to update history and make sure that the update for July 2025 has been successfully installed on the computer. I don't know the thing that you want to do it's just to go to the Microsoft Store and make sure to check for updates because some of the improvements may require to have the latest updates for a specific application. Then go to Downloads and just make sure to click the Check for Updates button. And let the store download all the updates for your applications. Now, before enabling the features, I just wanted to show you that in this particular moment, I don't have any of the features enabled on this computer. So if we go to the settings app, one of the changes is that now we have an option to make the taskbar icons smaller. But if we go to the taskbar settings, we can see that the option is not present. If we go to file explorer, we know that Windows Share is going to get a new file compression option and we can see that it's not present right here. And also, if we go to quick settings, we if we go to accessibility, now features include a description and those are not present right now. Now, one important note that I want to make is that after installing the updates on your computer, make sure to check the system and see if you have the features already enabled because technically the features and changes should turn on after installing the updates. However, since Microsoft enables new features gradually, some of them might be missing right after installing all the updates. Now, if you want to enable all the new features coming on July 2025, coming with the July 2025 patch to say update. As always, we're going to be using the Vibe tool. And to get it, you need to go to this GitHub page and then we need to download the latest version available. Now for system with Intel and AMD processors, make sure to download this option. If you have a Copala Plus PC, make sure to download this option right here. So we're going to save this to the computer. Now we're going to open the file location. We can close this. And now we're going to extract the files. Now make sure to know the path. So we're just going to right click and copy the location where you extract the files. However, I do have already on this virtual machine, I always put the Vibe tool on the C drive on its dedicated Vibe tool just to make it easier to find it. And so now we're going to go to command prompt and to do that, we're going to open a star and look for the terminal and I'm going to run this as an administrator. Now, if you're using the terminal and it open on PowerShell, you want to click right here and make sure to choose command prompt. Now, first we need to open the directory where we extract the files. In my case is CD by tool. And that's because I have the Vite tool folder right in the root C. Now, to enable all the new features coming to the July 2025 update for Windows 11 version 24H2, you need to run the Vite tool enable command with this with this number, and then press Enter. Now, restart the computer, and you should be able to see all the new features. Now, if we go to the Settings app, we're going to confirm if you have the option to use small icons on the taskbar, which is one of the features for this particular update. And if we look right here, we can see that option. And also, let's see if we go to Quick Settings, if we go to Accessibility, we can see the descriptions. Now, if we go to File Explorer, if we try to share a specific image, we can see now that we have the file compression option. Now, if we want to check even further, if we go to the settings sub and if we go to time and language, and then if we go to the regions page, we can see that the update now shows the device setup region, which is also new for the July 2025 update, just to name a few. Now, if some of these features that I just showed you are still missing, this is what you do. Open the terminal. 
open the location where you have the Vive tool. And then this command should enable the option to show small icons in the taskbar. This command should enable the description for the accessibility page on quick settings. And this one should enable the file compression for Windows Share. Finally, restart the computer and confirm that you have the features enabled on your computer. And that's it. That is how you enable all the new features and changes coming with the July 2025 update for Windows 11 version 24H2. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.